Hey YouTube, <coughs> um, I haven't made a video for about a week I guess, but anyway, I'm in the process of making a tram gauge. A tram gauge is a gauge that's used to locate something, keep something at an equal distance, or whatever. And especially when you're putting something either new together or taking something apart. So this gauge is made out of three quarter inch or five eighth inch bar stock, and all I did was tack some uprights in there where the bolt holes go, and they're the length of where the bed's gonna sit. The bed uh, brackets like this one and this one here, I need to be able to locate precisely later on. So now what this gauge will do is I have to weld some pieces from here over to the opposite side and maybe one or two on an angle to keep it in line. And then I can use it on uh, the frame that I'm working on. Uh, before I go there, I just want to show you, I started painting the brackets and stuff. These are the brackets I'm making for the bed, the small brackets. Uh, Chevy originally had them welded to the frame. I'm bolting them to the frame. I can weld them to the frame if I wanted to, but I don't want to because um, I just want to have some kind of adjustment there just in case or a way to change them. So anyway, um, since the last time I talked to you, or I had made a video rather, I put the um, toe hitch on the, the frame. It fit good. I had no problems getting it on there except for that it was sort of heavy for one person. Um, I tightened up all the bolts on all the braces and stuff. Put that shock tower in. It's tightened in place and ready for the shock. Um, this bracket you've seen before. These other brackets. I finished this one. I had to raise this up a little bit on one side because it was sitting right on the angle of the truck bed. Um, what it was was the angle that I have there is one quick, hard, dirty angle, uh, sharp angle. The angle for the truck is more, like if you see it, if you look over there, you'll see it's more of a sweeping angle rather than one quick, hard angle. It doesn't uh, have a, a direct angle to it, it's a sweep. So I didn't make that sweep because it would have been too hard to try and get this type of steel into a sweep like that, especially you know in my shop. So I just made the angle. The frame came out good. The length is good. It's square. I have a spreader there just to make sure that it stays the right width while I'm hooking everything else up so that when I go to weld it together I don't have any kind of a problem with it. I also again I was telling you guys about the uh, making patterns and this is a pattern for the spring hanger, the front ones. I'll show you how this... There's the spring hanger and there's my pattern. Okay, now these back pieces here have to be folded back and they lay against the frame. But what's nice about these patterns, like I said before, is that you know you can trim them off good, you can use them to make shapes, you can uh, you know, it just makes life a lot easier to have something like this that you can move about rather than just trying to make this piece and having to measure everything out. So I'll probably use one or two pieces of steel, probably two, to make the this piece. And then when I'm done with that, I'll be able to put those on. The spring, the rear uh, spring uh, mounts, these here, I put on probably, oh man, I want to say about two years ago maybe even three, but there's very little, that's just like rust dust in there, it's very good yet. So I'm just going to use these, I'll clean them up, paint them, and put them on the truck. The rest of the stuff I'm not, naturally I'm not using. But um, yeah, so anyway that's where I'm at so far. And uh, I hope that uh, this helps somebody who's wanting to put a frame together. It's not really that hard once you get going and the hardest part is measuring and everything but I'm enjoying this so anyway that's how far I am. Everything is nice and even and straight the way it ought to be. I'm satisfied with it so far so 
that's it for now. Um, like I say, everything is welded there now. I didn't grind some of them welds. I'm not going to grind the ones that I can't see from under the truck. So, okay. Have a good one. Bye.